Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Foundation Support Works, and I'm here today with Lane Gebers from Frontier Basement Systems, who covers Middle Tennessee and Northwestern Kentucky. And today we're going to talk about foundation walls pushing in and causing horizontal cracks and bulging and could ultimately even make the wall cave in. Exactly. What it is, it's expansive soil. All the clay we have around here, when we get all this rain, wants to move. And when clay is dry, it shrinks and it gets smaller. Uh, when clay gets wet, it then expands and gets bigger and can put a lot of pressure on the outside of basement walls. Right. So typically, uh, what kind of cracking would we see if we have our, our basement wall pushing in? Normally what you're going to see, especially on a, on a block wall, you're going to see about one course, one row of block below where the outside grade is, is going to have a horizontal crack. But then when it gets to the corners, you're going to see some stair stepping. If it is a poured wall, you'll usually see just a vertical crack. It'll happen all at once. Okay, and you know, the foundation is, you know, literally that word foundation, you know, it's, I mean, it's holding up our house. It's holding right. up our, our home, and it's kind of scary when big cracks open up. So what might some of the solutions be? Well, it depends on the, how the home is constructed because there's no two homes exactly alike and the soil conditions of what's outside. So our preferred method is using the geolock wall anchors, which is an earth anchor. And basically what we're doing there is we're going out and we're using the earth to help stabilize the wall that is in place. So we're basically putting a wall plate on the wall and then going outside in the earth. And it's actually an engineer, it's not a rule of thumb, it's how far it should go out, how deep it should go. And then over time we can actually straighten that wall by torquing these back together. Ah, okay. Say the neighbor was really close or you didn't own the property 15 foot away that you needed to put the wall anchor in or if you had some obstacles, underground tanks or other obstacles where you, you couldn't use that method. And the other part is we see a lot of is the rock too. Just sometimes it's right. physically impossible to do that or to anchor it to the rock because the rock is not a good stable thing to go into. So we get other tools of the arsenal that we can bring out and there we can use the power braces and there what we're doing we're using an I-beam that is designed to be attached to the footing down at the bottom and then come up and we actually have again we have a blade that we can actually attach it and do a torquing that we can actually straighten that back over time and if the wall is not bowed too much or it's just starting to crack and this is why it's a good idea to get in front of it we have a carbon armor and it's a carbon fiber that basically gets epoxy to the wall and it knits it all together as an entire system. Carbon fiber, I and mean, we've all heard about that, very high strength material, especially in tinsel strength. Exactly. Three different methods there that you just mentioned to mm -hmm. fix a Boeing foundation wall. If you're in Middle Tennessee or Northwestern Kentucky and you see horizontal cracks in your foundation walls or your foundation walls are bulging or even leaning or sliding right. in, any of those things and you'd like to have it taken care of professionally, call Frontier Basement Systems. They'll come out to a complete evaluation and free written estimate. They'd love to help you.